and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. We're going to be working with this groupie today, DC, short for Developing Your Craft. DC always tries to keep her workspace nice and clean, puts her supplies away so she knows where to find them, and she's all about practice, 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 which is where this guy comes in. Famous artist Paul Clay. He was a Swiss artist who did just that. Practice, practice, practice. He wasn't just an artist, he was also a musician who practiced his violin every day. We're gonna be inspired by this beautiful piece of art, which is also considered cubistic because things are broken down into geometric shapes. It's not realistic, it's abstract does not reflect um, real life, but he loved to play with colors. And the one thing that I find very exciting is his use of warm and cool colors and how they play off of one another and how it brings to life the fisherman along with the fish against the cool background. So warm colors in the foreground and cool colors in the background. So that's what we're going to be inspired with warm colors cool colors and famous artist paul clay we're going to be using an oil pastel and watercolor paints the first thing we're going to create is one of those big beautiful fish that paul clay is known for drawing and then we're going to break it down into really cool geometric shapes and have fun with it just like Paul Clay in his cubistic piece of art I'm going to give my fish some triangle teeth I'm going to give my fish two eyes and I'm also going to give it a fin top and bottom So now that I have my very simple fish drawn with simple shapes, I'm then going to break it into sections, very cubistic sections, like famous artist Paul Clay. And in each one of the, these sections, I'm going to paint a nice, beautiful, warm color. In the background, I'm going to also break down it into sections and I'm going to use a white pastel and I'm just going to draw simple vertical lines. The magic doesn't occur until the watercolor paint happens. So I have my very simplistic geometric fish. I'm going to start with the background first and I'm going to use a wet into wet technique for the background. I'm going to simply first put the water down, not on the entire background. I'm going to just work in sections because I don't want the water to dry. And I'm going to use some cool colors and I'm going to just dab those beautiful cool colors in and just watch them blend and magically take shape into our beautiful background. So again, this is a wet into wet technique. You can see that the white pastel kind of stayed because that's also a nice beautiful watercolor technique. It's called wax resist. The oil resist, I'm sorry, oil resist. Wax res resist would work with crowns. The oil resist works with oil pastels. So again, this is the wet into wet technique, which makes for a nice, exciting, 
background and the colors become beautifully blended together. And that white pastel really pops out. Paul Clay, when he was a child, couldn't decide what he wanted to do. If he wanted to be an artist, or if he wanted to be a musician. His father was a music teacher and his mother was a singer. So he came from a very talented and musical family. In the end, he decided to be an artist, but they do consider his paintings to be quite musical, which is kind of awesome practice the violin every day, just like I said our art groupie DC is all about practice, practice, practice to become better. No matter what it is in life you want to be good at, practice, practice, practice. Some things might come easy in the beginning, but if you want to be better and good at anything, you need to practice, no matter how easy it comes to you. So again, my background is made with some cool colors, blues, greens. I'm going to add some pretty purples in here. So wet into wet for my background. Voila. So now I'm going to go ahead and start painting my foreground, which is my fish. My fish is the most important part. I'm going to try to give each area a different warm color, whether it be orange, yellow, red, or pink, or a combination of those colors. Paul Clay really got into um, using this cubistic effect in his art. He became very uh, into grids and colors and trying to make as many different colors as he possibly could. His art really took um, a change with color when he went and visited um, the country of Africa. The colors that he saw that he never saw in his homeland in Switzerland. The colors that he saw in the sky um, and in Africa were just mind blowing to him and he just couldn't wait to come home and paint the colors that he saw. So Africa really changed his art and his use of color and it really just became so much a part of him which again, I also love, 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 love color. I think it's so important and it just makes you happy when you see color, lots and lots of color. When you use watercolor, you wanna use mostly water and uh, you wanna make sure that your um, just tickling the paper and tickling the paints. You don't want to dig into the paints like, a, like you have a spoon because it's supposed to be beautiful and 
almost transparent. If you wanted more of a darker color, you could always work back into the watercolor paints when they're dry, go back over top of the color to make it even more brilliant and dark. But watercolors are meant to be mostly water. And if you find that they're really sticky, you didn't use enough water. And you should probably go back in and add some more water and move that color around. So again, Paul Clay is our famous modern artist who was abstract and also a cubistic type of artist. We're using warm and cool colors. The warm colors against the beautiful cool colors of the water really make the fish pop. It's what we call contrast. And I tried my best to make a different warm color in each section. I challenge you to try to do that. Try to see how many different warm colors you can come up with. Try using that wet into wet technique. It's fun, kind of very tie-dye-y. The colors just blend beautifully. So there you have it, voila. Art inspired by the famous artist, Paul Clay. Thanks for joining me and I hope you had fun.